I also got some of this wire mesh. And here's the mesh to scale. I think it's I think it's probably about a quarter inch uh, holes, but I think those will make some great. Uh, whoops, that'll be some good terrain pieces, you know, for uh, rebar, you know, that type of thing, you know, sticking out of some foam. That'll look good. And of course, I got this granny board. Um, I guess grannies do like carpet weaving or something on it or whatever you know um, I have some white pieces but I was at Michael's and I saw that it has some black pieces like I was looking at the white and I said hey well I'm just gonna take those home and I'm just gonna prime them white for the project that I'm working on or I'm gonna take the white ones home and I'm just gonna uh, paint them prime them and paint them black so here the ones are already black so I'm like already halfway there so that's good here's another one of the little building materials that I like to use uh, this is this is just an egg carton, so this is really really handy um, for foam foam work. The nice thing about it is it's so easy to work with. You know, you can literally just tear it off, and then when you look at the edges, it's already naturally uh, ruined. So all I'd have to do is just dry brush that, and there's like a piece of steel or what have you. Now, and if you want to, another nice thing is you can bend it and kind of crinkle it, and see how it's already getting kind of cracks on it which is really good as well too and you can really kind of mush the stuff so if you wanted like a bent piece of metal you know on the corner of a building or or anything like that this is a, this is a great product I really like this or you know, rip it in half you know double layer it if you want to go with that type of look you know you can take this and you can just glue this on as a piece of scrap metal on some post-apocalyptic uh, terrain I've shown this piece earlier, and this is all made out of the egg carton material. You know, this, um, so what I did was, so this part here, this is the part that's in the center of the egg carton. I just kind of moshed it down to give it all those wrinkles and cracks. There's the hole that's actually, well, that hole I made there, but on this side, uh, this hole there, this hole there, that um, that is where the tab off of the egg carton goes. So, and over here, I got one of the tabs over here, and then I have another piece that's inverted into the back. So, and then on this side, you can see the little piece is actually way down there. Is actually way down there, and you don't even really see that anymore. So, uh, a lot of times when I'm building these type of things, sometimes you got to actually pretend you're right there and get down to eye level and say, if I was a guy and I'm in this situation, you know, and I want to build uh, some terrain, you know, to or want to build like a, a makeshift kind of bunker you know where would I lay these pieces of foam so like and that's where you get into your details so like in here for example in the corner I have a little piece that's bent and it looks like it was welded into place you know with a little window out the side so they can get you know catch guys up and maybe trying to flank them and what have you so this is one of my works in progress and I uh, just took some little chunks of pink foam here and there threw those on and uh, you know figured you know that might help keep uh, the guys that built this would want to put some rocks in the front to help hold down, you know, for the weight so it doesn't blow away. And here's some bigger pieces of, uh, of rock, you know, in the front. This may have been, um, uh, uh, like one of those dividers that are on the freeway, you know, and there I just put some battle damage on there, you know, mashed it up, bent it, you know, once, once that's done, you know, it's going to look good. And even like this piece in here, this has got, that's the edge of the packing, the egg carton, that's got a natural curve on it, but it looks like a piece of metal that was just, uh, you know, could have been off an airplane or who knows what.